Clouds to kick out this morning, but once they're out of here, sun, nice warm temperatures to look forward to. Yeah, it's going to be uh, potentially for many inland areas the warmest day we've seen so far in 2021. Love it. I know. I'm excited too. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at some of those details. So a little fog this morning. You can see it in North Situate. Now visibility has been dropping just over the last 10 or 15 minutes there. And some of that fog in the distance over the city of Providence. So it still can make out clearly the city skyline. So uh, we're looking at about two miles of visibility in Providence. But notice some areas like Smithfield and New Bedford where the visibility is down below a mile this morning. So when you encounter that fog, obviously got to slow your speeds up a little bit. We do expect it to clear out by mid morning. So spring fever going to take our weather headlines today. That number one spot is temperatures today and tomorrow inland are expected to be above 60 degrees. There is a cool down ahead. We knew this wouldn't last forever, right? We've got uh, back to some more seasonable weather this weekend and then even chillier early next week. Right now it's rising temperatures even before the sun comes up 34 now in New Bedford. We're up above freezing in Providence in mid 30s and Smithfield 40 already Newport Block Island at 43. We'll see those temperatures by uh, nine o'clock this morning already near 50. Mostly cloudy still could be a little touch of fog near the coastline and mainly sunny skies for the afternoon with highs into the middle and upper 60s. Let's break down the temperatures. It's uh, again that time of year. Big contrast between coastal and inland spots. We're going to be taking a look at a southwest wind today. So a little bit of an onshore component will keep our coastal areas cooler by the afternoon. So eight o'clock this morning. We should all pretty much be in the middle to upper 40s by lunchtime. Lower 60s, Smithfield, Attleboro, Pasco and Providence, 60 in Coventry, 50s along the shoreline, Newport and Westerly at about 55, 59 in New Bedford. And the temperatures in the afternoon keep on climbing. So upper 60s in Attleboro and Smithfield, mid to upper 60s in Providence and Coventry, 60 New Bedford, upper 50s in Newport and Kingston and Block Island today near 51 degrees. By 6 o'clock this evening, it's still very mild. Hopefully you can get out and enjoy some time outside this evening. Middle and upper 50s. We don't drop much below 50 degrees overnight tonight and then tomorrow hanging on to the warm air for one more day. So 62 for the high temperature in Attleboro at 2 o'clock Friday afternoon near 61 in Providence and close to 60 in New Bedford. So let's take a look at when the changes come. It's with a cold front. It's back across the Midwest right now. That's going to slide eastward and actually bring us a chance for a quick shower very early tomorrow morning. And then once that front clears the coastline, we get a shot from a second cold front that'll bring our winds to the north and northwest and that's going to really drive in the colder air for Saturday morning and it comes with some pretty strong wind gusts as well. We'll be dealing with gusts between 40 and 45 miles per hour later Friday night. So enjoy the mild air today and tomorrow while well, we've got it 62 tomorrow that drops down to the 40s for highs on Saturday and when you add in the winds it's going to feel like the 20s in the morning and 30s in the afternoon. But we do have a sun filled day on Saturday and similar conditions on Sunday less wind. We spring forward Saturday night, so check out those sunrise and sunset times on Sunday. Moves up to nearly 7 a.m. for the sunrise, but the sun won't set until 651 in the evening. Not much precipitation in the next seven days. Couple of chances for some lighter showers by the middle of next week, and those highs Monday and Tuesday only in the 30s. W